Oh. Avery Phillippe, Boston DeVault, lead the way for Nataway Valley Tide to win over Mount Air. Uh, gentlemen, this is a team that kind of took it to you guys the first time around. I don't know, Avery, you weren't there, uh, but you're able to get the win tonight. What does that mean? Uh, it means everything. We knew we had to come in and play our best. First half wasn't the greatest. The second half, we had to pick it up because we need to, the more wins, the better we are heading into the postseason. Uh, again, that's first up throughout the week. We got two more games, doubleheader. Uh, getting this first up for the week is a pretty nice feeling. What were the thoughts when you guys were down 18-5 early? Uh, well, we always have a rough start to every single game. Don't know why, but for somehow we figure out how to crawl back into games. And second half, we try to take it to them to pull out. The thought is we're always going to win. So just like don't get frustrated when we're down. Uh, just keep that thought in the back of my mind. Just got to do what we got to do to score. Boston, speak to your night offensively. Uh, you finished, with, I think, 14 or something like that. Had some clutch free throws down down the stretch. Uh, what was clicking? Uh, first half, I wasn't really shooting well. I knew I had to get my guys the ball. Uh, I needed a. I haven't been shooting free throws great recently before break, and I really worked on it. And I knew that free throws always win us games, so I had to clutch up there. Avery, you had a balanced night, really controlled the boards as well. Uh, how important is rebounding to, to what not only you do, but what this team wants to do? Uh, rebounding is huge. It brings a lot uh, to the scoring and then to the defensive. Uh, so I just think rebounding is a huge part of the game, and we do a, well, a good job part, uh, about it. You guys had three and double figures, and I think Adam was with like nine points or something like that. What does that say about the balance you guys can have on offense? Uh, people are starting to score for us, and that gets us more comfortable in the games and finish it out. And we can rely on our teammates more often, and it's good to have more scores. Just find the high end, beat them. All right, Coach. Uh, it's like a 33-point turnaround from the first time you guys played them. They lost by 23. Now you win by 10. Uh, I'm sure you got to be proud of, of your team's performance. Tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a big team win. I mean, we... I don't know if the, for sure on the scoring side, but I feel like we we're pretty balanced on that side of things. And um, you know, I was telling those guys in the pregame before we started how far along we've come since we played them. Um, it feels like a long time ago that we played them because of how much we have improved as a team. Um, having Avery Phillippe back was huge. We didn't have him in that game. Um, so that was a huge difference for us as well into that side of things. And then the biggest thing, in all honesty, is in that second half talking to him about they have to believe in the same thing that us as coaches are believing in them in, their ability on both sides of the floor. Um, really, really proud of them on sticking to it on the defensive side, uh, especially early on because our shots weren't falling, stuff wasn't going the way we wanted it to go on offense. And especially with the young kids, they can lose the other side of the floor. Um, but this group stayed locked in on that side of the floor. Um, I feel like, and I've looked at it, um, every game that we're either ahead at halftime or within 10 points, we've won. Um, so keeping that key, Keeping that in mind for us is a huge uh, part of our success as well. It was three and double figures. You guys signed, then Adam had nine. So what does that say about what you guys were able to do offensively? Um, we're just picking and choosing our battles of who, where we feel like we have a mismatch at um, and just attacking those guys in those mismatches there, um, whether it's with Boston or um, Avery and even Adam. Adam was our dirty work guy today. He was cleaning up the rebounds all over the place on both sides of the floor, um, getting putbacks. Um, finding ways to get into the middle of that zone to be able to get dump downs and everything there for him. Um, and then, like I said, with Boston and Avery, especially when they get into man stuff, we're able to, to get the mismatch that we feel like we have and put our guys in the right spots to be able to do good things for us. I think it's like seven of the last nine you guys have won now after starting one of eight, I think is what I had on my notes. Yep. Do you feel like you guys are playing some of your best basketball when it matters most? Uh, absolutely. And, and being a new coach, it takes time. Um, I know that's something we talked a ton about in December. Something my wife had to keep reminding me as her being a coach as well is everything takes time. Um, we wanted to be really good right away. And we knew we could be good and be to where we're at right now. But the biggest thing is we're not satisfied on that yet. Um, we want to keep improving, keep doing the things that we need to be doing. Um, and like I said, the buy-in from out with the guys has been huge. They could have, when we were that one and eight, one and nine, they could have said, screw this guy, he doesn't know what he's doing and folded up shop. But it's credit to the kids. They stayed with me on that, um, believed in me, okay, believed in themselves, and here we are sitting, what, seven and nine, or seven and two in our last nine games, um, which is really an awesome thing. Um, it's also uh, seven and two since I had my little girl. Um, so that's an awesome thing too with that as well.